Hey, it's Pastish Prime here. Welcome back to Surviving the Aftermath. We're continuing our playthrough of the Eternal Winter and the Shattered Hope DLC. Struggling our way through the Hope system. It's a bit of a nightmare. Uh, Eternal Winter. I mean, it's a pain, but it's not that bad. Um, you know, we've got a few adjustments because of things that are not allowed can't have ranches you can't have flour mills and all that sort of stuff so we're pretty much reliant on um uh you know trappers for meat and also just uh what do we call it? insects that sort of stuff so that's where we're at with that side you know and so it's interesting it's a different play style it it forces you to change your tactics a little bit and use some things that maybe you didn't use a lot in the other playthroughs which i like i find that entertaining you know all of our veggies have to be grown in greenhouses there's no other way to do it because we can't have farms at all and you know and the heat source is a lot more uh you know prevalent of what you need to do you know where where this one i really pushed to get this powered heat to get off using logs because we don't want to run out of trees because we can't grow more trees and whereas all other playthroughs because you only face winter every now and then i didn't see the point i would just use burners right it was just as easy so you know it was good to change tactics but let's get going and see what we're doing we're trying to build the environmental stations now so we can start cleaning up some of this pollution which you know, help some of the placements around some of this rubbish here. And obviously keep pollution out of our supplies and our water sources, all that sort of stuff. We've made a new discovery. Okay, so what are we researching now? Nothing. Or are we? Oh, botanic gardens. Uh, is it actually going to do that? So a public house, oh, it requires water again. Jesus, everything wants water. Do we have? We do have the fun boxes. Okay, so we, I mean, we have places we can put this. It would have been nice there. I don't think. Oh, it's too big for that. Oh, I'm sort of thinking we'll put it here. Now, do we build it straight away? Problem is, it's going to take all our water supply. So I am going to pause you. We need to go and put in another well somewhere. Uh, too close to another one. So, alright, we could go out here. We could do two... Or we could even Oh, we must we must have one over there. Uh okay, we could do one there. Alright, we'll do the three. We'll automatically do the upgrades. We don't wanna we wanna make sure we do that. Oh we got three people no two people injured. Okay, how's our fighters going? All right. Who's our fighters? Yep. You are? Okay, we are going to make a car. Yeah, how many? How many? How many? Can we get a four? We can. We get a four. Wait. Oh, I didn't know. I want you. What you? 
Oh, you're all... Okay, you and you. That's my fighting team. All right, we're going to do that. We're going to go and do this quest. I'm hoping that's going to give us some... Uh, hope reward. Looks like the environment station is coming up. And that will be followed shortly thereafter. What do we got? Ah, metal's good now. Parts are pretty good. Tools we could do with and wood we could do with. Even logs. Ah, there we go. Okay. You've got both wood and some tools. We are going to sell some stuff back. We've got a fair bit of herbs. Oh my god. They don't pay much for herbs, do they? Pay a lot for guns, though. Not so much for hunting rifles, but... It all helps. We've got a lot of insect meals. What? People not enjoying the insect meals? Come on. Alright, we will pay that amount of money. Okay. Someone help me! Sorry, Henry, you got crushed or whatever happened. I don't know. Got hit by something, clearly. Okay, you uh, upgrade, please. Okay, environment station is up. Right, hang on. Right, we're just. Go I'm gonna just go with one worker at the moment, and we're gonna pick. Oh, hang on. Our bunker is telling us something. Right, I'm gonna do that. Because this, I would really like to get cleaned up. These three. Okay, why is our bunker telling us to do something? I was going to do something out there. Alright, let's have a look. What have we got? During the apocalypse, Earth took an unprecedented hit to its fragile ecosystem. And the afterquakes can still be felt throughout the world. Climate is unpredictable, and different biomes host extreme weather conditions. Uh, the script is not the same, so I'm trying to work out what that said. Wasteland biomes are areas with a dark history that bears more significance to survivors even today. They are a grim reminder of what people are capable of doing to each other. These highly contaminated regions were created during the succession wars as armies resorted to weapons of mass destruction as their last resort. Whole provinces were wiped out in the blink of an eye. Understanding these conditions is essential to continue work on the Doomsday Bunker. This means going deep into the wasteland and gathering knowledge from old battlefields. Build any engineer outpost in wasteland biome. Okay. That means we need to build an engineer dip bowl. Which we're going to do. Now, is this the one that we have to waste, or is the one where we can just still gain something?
Okay, so the waste is dump is now built. Yeah, we're going to clean this up. Don't worry. We are going to clean it up soon enough. Okay, we're, we're losing water now because of that contamination, but we will get that back on track. Don't you worry. Uh, wait, where are you? There. And we're also going to upgrade you. Power is now ready. Create the team. Okay, team. You are going to come here. All right. Engaging hostile. We're going to do one at a time. Showtime. Yes. So we take basically no damage. Or very little. We won the battle. Okay. Well, I think we won the first one. The bandits fall much easier than anticipated. Despite their liberal access to weaponry, the weapons are rounded up, packed up. There are two camps remaining. Attack the next camp. Okay, you can't get there. Hang on. What's up? All right, so you. Locked and loaded. How may I help? Attacking target. Oh, you're going to take Engage two. Hostile. Damn. Ready. Sorry, can't do that. All right, we might try and bring you over there. Scavenger, scavenger, scavenger. How may I help you? What are you? 150, yes? 200. What's up? 150. Yes? Huh? Reporting in. Mm, you've also got science. So I think if I'm going to get rid of anybody, I'll get rid of you. For God's sake. Pesky rats have taken a liking to the crops and could very well eat away a huge chunk of them. Trap them and harvest their meat. Uh, yep, okay. Uh, made into tasty rat burgers. Nice. Create an engineer, and it is going to be you. Okay, we need a waste land biome. No. Desert. No. I think which one's wasteland? What does wasteland look like? None of these. That's tundra. 
Ah, uh, there we go. There's Wasteland. I've had this before where I've had to build it in one that didn't have a thing at all. And that one definitely. Oh no, there's a big. It's a huge area. Yeah, see, it doesn't have one though. And I thought that's what. See, now why does it do one of those two when there's, there's nothing in there? I don't know. It's going to collect nothing. So we'll do that one because that one is the lower of the two. Research on the wasteland starts. The desolate scenery is a continuous reminder of what people can do when the morality of actions is no longer limited by laws or rules of engagement. The soil is heavily contaminated, thanks to the nuclear and chemical warfare that ravaged the continent during the first years after the apocalypse. After decades, there is little left. What remains has been beaten by the elements, toxins and intense radiation. To understand the effect of the environment, it is important to compare the observations to similar, less affected samples from another place. The best way is to visit another battlefield and gather materials from there to understand how each material behaves in these more hazardous conditions. There is little left to compare, but rusty wreckage, bones and ruins are a start. Visit a battlefield. Oh, it's only visit this time, okay. That's the yellow one, which is down here. Okay, well, let's come in here for a minute. Let's buy ourselves a scout. Okay, I'll let him come in. Alright, let's send you straight away. What's up? We're going to get you to come down. Somebody. Here. Okay. Alright, so we're filling up that with waste. We've got that. Road to 100. What is that one? Survive for a hundred days. Okay. Nice. All right. What are we doing? Do we not have... Yeah, we don't have enough research. Okay. Yeah, are we building anything? We built the engineer thing. Oh, we're doing the water. That's right. We're trying to get our water back up. Could look at doing that to get our happiness up. We've got 10 spaces. I would feel more comfortable if we had some more people. It's not a great amount, but a couple will help. Yep, that's going to be contaminated soon. What we need to do is we need to make sure that we keep forest enough our trappers because we can't plant any trees
Okay, for some reason we've lost music. Battle was won. We won the battle. Okay, the second camp is overtaken without any serious opposition. The weapons are collected before heading out. One more camp remains. Huh? Okay, Going so in. you can make it there. Ready. Why can I not pick this? You're going to take two to get there again. And I'm guessing you're not getting there. So we might put you in the car. Not going to happen. Yep. What do we have here? Can you go in there, please? Beneath a layer of dirt, the ground is covered by old wreckage and weapons of war. No vegetation grows around the battlefield, and it's hard to traverse the terrain without tripping over the bones and helmets half buried in the sand. This place should provide plenty of test samples, taking them back to the wasteland outposts and researching how that environment starts to affect intact materials will help to resolve many of the current engineering problems with the Doomsday Bunker. There are plenty of samples to collect, but also other things that are going to help with our other fields of research as well. Some of this progress could be shared with other societies. Showing them good faith could be useful in the future, but it might hinder progress back at the colony. Okay, so we could keep everything, get plus 800 research, lose minus 100 reputation with every society, or aid the other societies and gain 50 reputation with every society. I always go for the aid because it's always paid off in the end. And I'm not going to change now. The world now. has changed, and there's little to do except adapt and change with it. Thanks to efforts done by the engineers, there is now enough to keep building the bunker. The expedition also found new information from the past. Notes on the old maps showed how the capital region was badly hit by the initial impacts during the early days of the apocalypse. The remains on the battlefield did not have any official markings on them, these battles took place only a few years after the first swarm of comets was discovered. The nation's downfall must have been quick and brutal as the power vacuum was filled by these wearing factions. None of them are left, but some of the existing factions might be descendants of these armies. Continue building the bunker. Right. Good job. Um. Since you're a scout... Why don't you come out and do some scouting? There's a few places over here. And these guys are still going. So, uh, we have to go to the bunker. Hang on a second. Hang on. The work continues relentlessly in the colony. As catastrophes keep increasing casualties in the colony, the people cling to the bunker as the beacon of hope to cope with the losses. The efforts will eventually pay off, as long as the construction keeps going. The project is still far from finished. Engineers must keep on pu pushing even farther to find more knowledge and keep key components so the work can go on. As the last expedition revealed, there is very little time to react if the planet is yet again bombarded by objects from the outer edges of the solar system. Comets and asteroids are moving in cosmic velocities, and even the smallest impacts would create damage equal to nuclear weapons. Oh, keep gathering knowledge, we get a major increase. Okay. That's major. Could have done with more, but yeah. It'll do. happening we've got very little power yeah 
We have no wood. What is your problem? A woman, visibly nervous but also very excited, has packed up her things and walked to the gate. It's great here, but there's got to be something more, you know. I haven't seen the world, but I want to, she explains to her fellow colonists. She looks ill-equipped and woefully optimistic about venturing out to the wastelands alone. Tell her she's being selfish. Yep. Ah. Oh. If she leaves, the other colonists need to pick up her slack. The colony is always in need of more hands, so her leaving would be incredibly selfish. The woman is not happy to hear all this, but the words do make her reconsider. Eventually she shrugs, fine then, I don't want to leave everyone in a pinch, she mutters and marches back. And we suffer because of that. Good choice. I should have just let her go off and die. Okay, that's to do with those. We need to get those making stuff first. They're just damn expensive. Now, unfortunately, we've probably got bigger priorities. The water we're still dealing with. All right, this is about to come up. It's going to take... Sorry, why, have, why did that just go down? All right, we really need to get more wood. So we are going to trade you wood. What do you want for research? Ooh, that's a lot, isn't it? It might be a bit rich for us. Okay, definitely. We, if we can get way more guns... You know what, let's just go with that. Okay, that has made people happy. Seriously, we still do not have enough. That gave 20 entertainment. Yet we're still minus 17. Oh, that really sucks. I thought that was going to put us in a positive. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Yeah, I thought that was going to put us in a positive. Clearly not. you. No, you're right. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, here we go. Message from a defense outpost. The cool. Has received a message from engineers at a defense outpost. They seem to want the colony's opinion on a recent breakthrough with the Doomsday Bunker project. What could this be about? Meteor storms and other falling wreckage can leave the colony in rough shape. Shards from the shattered moon and malfunctioning satellites are a common sight, and there is little one can do about it. With clever engineering tricks, however, the damage can be minimized and the repair costs brought down significantly, which helps to save precious resources if the colonists need to stay in the Doomsday Bunker for longer than expected. Tinkering colony buildings with this newfound technology would decrease buildings repair costs but the materials needed for this operation could also be sent to colony as plain resources 
Right. Well, we're constantly repairing, so I am going to take the uh, this one because that again is going to keep on returning a value to us. Okay, so we yeah we're gathering, so we should get another one once this gets up to ten percent, and then we're basically just trickling on again. Jesus, okay, this is getting really annoying. We are losing a lot of people. Okay, so that's the upgraded one. Cool. Well, uh, that's not. So let's upgrade that one. So that should be all of them being upgraded now. Where are you? All right, so you are done. You're done. You're done. All right, so that's now going to upgrade. And then that's... That's all of them. We need more power. Yeah, we need power. What do the, what do these take? A lot of wood. Do we start making them or I was going to say do we do bugs, but we've got a lot of bugs. Now we did get we should have got... We did. We got wax worms. Okay. How do they compare? So yield is 3. Growth rate is a bit slower. Resilience is the same. Filling rate is way more. Meat based is the same. And less pollution. Trade value is the same. So, you get a greater yield. It's going to be slower to grow. But you also get a greater filling rate. So I think we are going to switch over to wax worms. Now we have 184 bug meals. So I don't actually think we need uh, any more of these. This this is quite self-sufficient. I was thinking we could do with more veggies. But then again, we've got enough veggies, haven't we? got a fair few meals i don't know maybe we're okay as we are so maybe we could work on oh, i was gonna say we should work on that but mm. it's because we had to build that stupid bloody power thing wasn't it Uh, we don't have the work. Oh, that's not good. We don't even have workers in here. Hang on. Right, we've got... Take... Drop these guards back to two. Ah, you, you, you didn't go in there. Alright, the last camp is secured. The weapons are packed up. Surely they'll come in handy to protect the colony from outside uh, attacks. Uh, moderate increase. Quest complete. Okay. Not gonna work. Alright, here. Uh -huh. What you need? Uh, just trying to work out if I want to attack something. That's what I'm trying to work out. Okay, so he started scouting. What we really need to do is clear these things here. That should be our focus with our fighters. Because that opens up new areas. The little ones, they're good to get, but they're not... It's not essential uh, to anything we're doing, really. Uh, okay, so that is now built. That's fine. Right, 
So, what was I thinking? Let's start on that one. We'll think about starting on one of those. Okay, what I was going to check. Scavenger, scavenger. Yep. You're a bit of a fighter. So yes. You are really crap at scavenging. Um... All right, let's go with, let's go with the three vehicle. I'm going to take you, you, and we'll take the research one. Yep. All right, we'll do that. We need more people. Okay, shelter is up. That's because people have obviously died. What have we got? Yeah, we're not... We're losing more people than we're getting. Well, that helps. Having some people come in. That does help. Okay, that's waiting on components now. Okay. Alright. That's all our water wells up now. You? No. You? Have run out of trees. Right. Like I said, we need to make sure we keep enough trees for our trappers. We should be getting a message for this life support, I would have thought. Let's create our team. All right, where do we want to scavenge? Okay, is there somewhere with some research? There's some medicine. No. There's some tools. Couple of things there. Uh, okay, we could come up here. There's a couple of things up here. Let's do that. Waiting for you to get in the car, mate. That's what that's what's up. I'm really annoyed these take logs. I was really hoping they were gonna be electric. Okay, we found another one. Um, should I go over there or come here first? Of course. Should we, we'll do that one first. Yep. Okay, you're in the car now. 
No, 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 not the car. Alright, we don't want to attack. We could come down here. No, either way, it's not the greatest drive. We'll go that way. The colonies received now, a message go. from a life support outpost about a recent breakthrough regarding. The Doomsday Bunker Project. What could this be about? The sun has been conjuring up massive solar flares more and more frequently, causing magnetic storms back on Earth. To take advantage of this, engineers have devised a method to store some of the energy to ensure the Doomsday Bunker can stay powered even during emergencies. This information could also be used to extend the battery lives of the colony's energy storages by increasing the capacity of all battery racks, or the knowledge could be used to power up engineering outposts to speed up knowledge production. All right, I think in this case we might speed up the engineer outpost because we only got one battery. So increasing by 100 units. Yeah, I'm not saying that. I mean, it's probably going to bite me in the butt, but this one here, I don't know, it's just going to speed this all up. Which, I'm not in a rush to do it, but if we can turn off catastrophes, then so be it, but we're not, I don't think we actually get any catastrophes, to be honest. Um, am I going to jinx myself saying that? I think because we're in eternal winter, we can't get any others. Maybe that's the case. Uh, I mean, I could be proven wrong soon enough. <laughs> but for now, let's just assume that's possibly the case. Um, but regardless, you know, you still finish that. It's still good to do it. Okay, so nothing's going to happen with that until we get something else. Which is, I have no idea what we brought in. Why have you suddenly got nothing to trade? This is bizarre. I've never had that much shortage. Okay, it's just rubbish. I was hoping to get some components, but I guess that's not happening. Um, we don't really have the people to work in here, but you know what? We're going to build one. We may build two, but we'll do one at a time. Another one? Holy cow. Alright, well. Sounds good. Go and do that one. Where are you unhappy now? Oh, it's still the poor shelter. I oh, see now we got plus twenty-one. Oh, is it because there was nobody working in there? He gave us a quick instant happiness, but yeah, okay. Right, we got ten spots available. That's only six. I am going to 
Bulldoze that. Right, and we're going to put a tenement there. Now, unfortunately, this metal thing is in the way. That is going to stop us. I mean, you do have to question, is it overkill? We've got like three metal things and a metal thing. <laughs> Seriously? How many metal things do you want? Just if we could get rid of that, we could build another tenement here if I pull this tent down. It's really my plan. Wait. Oh, we got the mushroom farm. Okay, so now we've got one coming out with straight mushrooms, right? So that's these ones. These are the edible ones. Now we can do either of these. So let's do... Well, I guess we'll start with that one. The Serenity Shroom. And then I would like to do this one. But again, running out of resources now. Uh, and I obviously want to build these. So what we could do is I could pull that down and I could boost the other two instead. Right, because we've got a ten. Of, why did you jump over there? I built it there. I'm going to bulldoze that. I'm going to bulldoze that. I'm going to boost and boost. And... I'm going to boost you. Okay. And we're going to put another tenement... Right there. Now, we can't do anything here because we've got a lot of little things here. And I'm assuming you can't get a tenement. No, there's no way. No way you're getting a tenement in there. You could pull that one down. Somebody dead there. Actually, is there a spot right there? There bloody is. Oh, that's where we had the cook thing. Right, let's do that. We brought one survivor in. Okay, botanical garden. All right, now that requires water. Now, oh, I was hoping that was going to squeeze in there, but it ain't going to squeeze in there. I can't find anywhere nice to put this. I mean, we can just put it over here with the other one. I will pause it though, because... I don't know, we have enough fun boxes. 
But our happiness is pretty good right now, so I'm not in a rush. Not in a rush. Look at my herb. We need to get medical centers up so we can start turning these herbs into something. sure you haven't finished all the pollution. No, I didn't think so. Okay, we haven't researched. So I was trying to make towards comfortable housing, wasn't I? But then again, we're pretty happy right now. So maybe I shouldn't. Medical center. See that now that one confused me once before. I thought that was the actual place that built medicine, but it's not. Medicine production is. That one there is just a better like a field hospital. Still good. But it wasn't what I thought it was. Is there? Yeah, okay. No. That this is what we're gonna do. Because I want more workers in these diggers. We're going to do that. Okay. So we got a tenement built. We'll get this other tenement built. Once that's built, we should have a few extra slots. Okay, another tenement built. We've got 22. Okay, we're going to pull that one down. That's nine. That's 15. That could be way too many. Okay, so that was rubbish. All right. Tenement. Okay, I want to row a path. I want to path across there. And then we'll build that tenement. Right there. So we have no housing. Yeah, we pulled down too many. We've got five people homeless now. Whoops. Yeah, that wasn't smart. Um, and we still got two tenths left. like an old lawnmower engine. Ah, uh, jeez. 
I'll give it a shot. Uh, what happened? He hauls the engine to the tool shop, starts his work. Eventually, the engine springs to life. The man is over the moon, hurries to scribble down the notes. In his excitement, he forgets to make sure the engine stays cool, and moments later, it combusts violently. The man barely has time to run out of the way, and the tool shop definitely suffers some damage. Great. Thanks for that. And yeah, it's on fire. That's bloody brilliant. Just what we needed. Right, tenement is built. Stop, moon rock. Okay, do we have any other moon rock? Or have we run out? Oh no, we have some there. Alright, so that, we'll get that critically damaged. Please fix it, guys. Come on. We do not need that. Uh... Okay, so we only have three slots available. We need, we need, we need, we need. Can we run a path down there? Hmm. Right, where would we build another tenement here? What's that? That's 47 plastic. Yeah, I do not care about that whatsoever. Oh, uh, I don't think anybody wants to live next to a, uh, a waste thing. It's not really going to be a great selling point. And I can't build there. None of them are very good, are they? Let me have a look. These mushroom things. No, see, I can't even fit you. I can't fit you in there, and I can't fit you in there. Oh, I could put you there. Now, let's get a path across, I guess, like that. We'll do that. Then what that means is, what does that mean? Get rid of that for now. Get rid of that. All right, and then we're going to build... We build another tenement there. So we get a couple more tenements, we can get rid of these, but we just can't do it yet. I was really hoping to get that under control, but got a little bit carried away and rushed it, didn't I? So that's just the price you pay. Um, did I... Did I pause that? No, but I better...
Alright, we should. Gotta wait for that to start producing. Alright, and then once all that's done, we need to build this so that they can start treating people with that. And, yep, we've got that coming out. That's good. So, we have to call it there because we're going over time again. The things are coming together. I'm, I'm, I'm getting fairly happy with how things are coming out. You know, we'll get people all in tenements. Hopefully, we'll get to the point where we'll start getting them in houses and all that sort of stuff at some point. Um, that's what I'm thinking we'll try to do instead of, as I said, instead of going for improved tenements, I'm thinking we push straight up to houses. Just skip that sort of halfway step of research and upgrades. Um, whether we can get there and it works, who knows? You know, it's a concept. We just try our best. Uh, everything else is starting to come together. So I'm, I'm liking it. We're starting to get bits out. We've still got a few more advanced things that we've got to do, you know, medicine and all that sort of stuff. But it's still pretty early days. You know, we're only day 103. Um, you know, the bunkers, you know, well off being finished. So we've got a lot. We've got a lot to go. So if you like the channel and you want to support it further check the description below there's a link to a patreon site and a link to a virtual coffee site if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please do consider subscribing it really helps the channel out immensely and i really do appreciate the support most importantly leave a comment below let me know what you think of the game let me know what you think of the eternal winter the shattered hope um, you know, the hope system, the whole thing. Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are with that. And um, let me know if there's something I could be doing better or you want to ask me questions or anything like that. And what do you want to see out of these games going forward? You know, let me know what you would like me to do after this playthrough or where do you want me to stop with this playthrough? Um, you know, let me know. Uh, what do you want to see? so that I can plan ahead and hopefully get that, uh, you know, worked out for the for the next playthrough. So just let me know your thoughts, opinions, everything else. I read all the comments and answer every comment that warrants an answer as soon as I possibly can. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.